How you doing? Mr. DJ back counting down my fantasy playlist of March 18th, 1989. We're up to number 11, and guess who's at number 11? Metallica. Up four from number 15 with one. The video shot in black and white, interspersed with footage from a movie called Johnny Got His Gun. I'll get into that in just a minute. Johnny Got His Gun, a very powerful movie, though, that came out back in 1971. It was a moderate, moderately successful, but was quickly forgotten soon after the movie, uh, well, after the movie just dropped off. And uh, the movie was about a soldier in World War I got hit by a shell in a trench. Trench warfare, stalemate, World War One. God, used to read a lot about World War One. Uh, even checked out a book a few years before this video came out. Before this song came out, checked out a book from a library. It was over eight eight hundred pages. University Library, Gore's Library, University of Alabama campus. It was about Britain and World War One. Of course, Britain they lost millions millions of casualties in World War One, along with uh, Germany and France. The U.S. was a little bit more fortunate, well, relatively speaking. I mean, they, gosh, I've got the total casualties, uh, but it was twice as many killed in World War One as was in Vietnam, I think. But anyway, uh, this, 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 this movie was about a guy, when he got hit by a shell, he couldn't hear, he couldn't see, he couldn't talk. He was conscious, he could think, but he was in prison in his own body. And the way he only way he communicated, I believe, was the way he shook his head, help me, or then later on kill me. I can't go on like this. A total living hell. And uh, the movie, now get this. I didn't know this about the movie. Here's an interesting piece of trivia about Johnny Got His Gun. Jimmy Carter, when Jimmy Carter became governor of Georgia, this was 1970, when after he became governor of Georgia, early 1971, when he was inaugurated or whatever, he made, it was required that all cabinet members, members of his cabinet in the state, watch the movie, 1971. But the movie did not become famous until Metallica brought it back in 1989 when they did one. One is from the album called And There Was oh, and Justice for All. That was the name of the album. Just trying to wade through my chicken scratch once again. And uh, found out a little bit uh, about Lars, the drummer. He was a tennis player. That was his original inspiration, his aspiration. Danish guy. When he came to Los Angeles, it was to train to become professionally trained as a tennis player because his dad was a tennis player. His granddad was a tennis player. So, hey, I'm going to be a tennis player, but he got into drums and put an advertisement in a magazine called Recycler, and he teamed up with James Hitfield. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, H-E-T-F-L, I think it's F, <laughs> I can't read my writing. Well, I just pronounced this James Hetfield of Metallica. They formed Metallica, and uh, the third album, and Justice for All. They wrote this song, by the way. Lars and Hetfield, Hetfield wrote this song one in 1987. There had there was some uh, not well. There was some timing changes. There was four four, and it went to three four, and uh, there was the sound effects. You hear the helicopters at the beginning of the. Uh, sound effects, although there were no helicopters back in World War One, but still. And then James Hetfield came in with his guitar, and uh, Kurt Hammett, Kurt Hammett uh, came in playing a, a clean guitar solo. And of course, later on, later on the song becomes distorted, comes heavy, and then it goes back to clean again. It was just it was just a great rock and roll record, but just not commercial enough to be top forty per se. A lot of the CHR stations shied away from playing the record. It was just too heavy, particularly if it played particularly played during the daytime. Nonetheless, MTV, they showed the love, and thank God they did. Heavy rotation. Remember watching this video on MTV? About three months, I think. Uh, thinking, uh, let's see, this is March. Fantasy playlist of March. Thinking uh, February, March, and April of 1989. For Metallica. 
did well in other countries, went to number three in the Netherlands, number three in Sweden, went to number 13 in England. This record did my Metallica. I believe that's all I got to say about this record. I think I covered all the basics. Well, uh, everything I want to talk about on this particular record. Well, here we are. It's Metallica, my friend, at number 11 on my fancy playlist. My top 40 fancy playlist. March 18, 1989.